Nick! 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 Over here! Over there! Uh, I just wanted to know, when's the next upcoming storm? So unfortunately, there's nothing really in the forecast. I'm expecting the first, or the next storm to really hit us in maybe two or three weeks once we're actually into springtime. So that's the best news and the best information I got for you. Nick, 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 Nick. What happens to all the winter merchandise at the end of winter? So that's a great question. What we're gonna end up doing with our winter merchandise is we're gonna do a blowout sale for you guys. We're gonna offer you 10% off of the entire store catalog. Uh, when you're in the checkout section, just make sure you type in the word spring and you will save 10% off of our winter merch. Nick, 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 what kind of merch can we expect uh, moving forward? So we got a summer line coming out, and it looks like we're going to be doing some, tr some, some trucker hats, some tank tops, and something that's even more important is that we want your suggestions. We want to know what you guys are looking for for our summertime merchandise. But those are just a few of the things that we're going to be surprising you with. Nick, 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 How do you feel about pineapples on pizza? There's always one. You know what, this press conference is over. Well, good day to everybody. What day is it actually? <laughs> it's March 13th, 2024 in beautiful, beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. And this is the calm before the storm. <laughs> well, I hope you guys like that, uh, the, uh, press conference of my MMA fight <laughs> seriously seriously I am digging these these little promos I know you guys are and so we're having lots of fun with them it's a lot of work you guys it's it, it's a lot of effort um, Jay does a tremendous job and we do it all for you but yeah this is the calm before the storm. So we do have some weather arriving tomorrow and it looks like it could be pretty decent after all, you guys. This calm before the storm, we're gonna be going through the Baldwin side of town. You guys will see there is absolutely zero snow anywhere on this drive. So it's a bummer, but that's gonna allow for, I think a, a really beautiful sight if we do get as much snow as potential so it looks like tomorrow in the evening the snow will begin and then after midnight it'll become a much more steady snow we have about one to three inches of snow possible and then friday morning another one to three inches of snow and then it'll be clearing out in the evening time a little bit but then saturday morning there's a chance for some lingering snow showers as well which means that sunday will be the aftermath video so this is, this is good. I believe the resorts could see about six inches and we could definitely use it as it's getting warmer and the angle of the sun is more direct. Not, not from as much of an angle anymore. So we really need this snow. Conditions I've heard are still wonderful at the ski resorts. So I really suggest you guys get your buns up there and go, go, go have some fun or bring your kids over here to Big Bear Snow Play. <laughs> and pay a nominal fee to go sledding all day. Your kids will get pulled up on a motorized walkway so they don't have to expend a bunch of energy and they can just have fun all day. It's called Big Bear Snow Play. And again, don't forget to uh, go to bigbearweathernmore.com to help support this channel, help support me and what I'm trying to do here. Um, there are other ways that you can support also. In the description of the video, there are other methods. Um, everything's super helpful. And thank you guys for everything you've already done for me. I appreciate it. And last but not least, or second to last, we'll get to the last one soon, but second to last, if you guys are coming up here skiing and snowboarding, make sure you go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two locations, one block and two blocks away from the village, um, on the village side of Big Bear Boulevard. One's a ride shop and one is a ski shop. And if you mention that you're a friend of the channel, they'll take care of you. And if you bring in your own skis and snowboards, they will wax them for free. Again, you must mention that you are a friend of the channel or else it'll cost you probably between 20 and $40 to get waxed. Um, so let's see here. Also, to save money on lift tickets, you guys, if you go to getboards.com, 
and you order your tickets online through getboards.com 72 hours in advance of the day you plan on skiing, you'll save money on your lift ticket prices. So instead of going to the ticket window the day you plan on going skiing and paying full price, go to getboards.com and you'll save a few bucks. All right, guys? The things I try to do to help y'all out makes me happy. So yeah, as you guys will see along this this drive through Big Bear City and Baldwin Lake and then on our way back through Stanfield Cutoff and whatnot there, you, I'm certain you're not going to see any snow whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. When we don't have any snow at all and we get a, a few good inches of snow, it it's just a heavenly feeling. Everything looks so beautiful and I'm so excited for this to happen. This was kind of a toss up, you guys. Even yesterday, it was showing that nothing's gonna happen. And for the past four or five days, it's been showing up on and off. Every day, it's been saying it's going to happen, and then a couple hours later, it's not gonna happen, and then a few hours later, it's going to happen, so forth and so on. So yeah. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you guys, all right? But yeah, we're, we're excited to see this guy on his motorcycle because uh, I am looking forward to picking up my motorcycle. Don't forget, guys, we got some summertime motorcycle videos. I'll probably do a few more this summer than I usually do because I know some of you really, really, really like it. And it is a neat perspective to be cruising on a Harley and recording in 4K. I used to have five cameras on my Harley, but that editing process is so ridiculous. As a matter of fact, I never even edited. I just put every bit of film back to back to back to back to back, patching them together. So you would see two hours worth of one camera and then the next part of the video would be two hours of the other camera. It's tough, man. Editing is, is not easy. It's very time consuming. It's not fun. That's why I don't I don't do any editing on this channel, really. The app, the uh, the time lapses, I'll add music and that's it. That's all I do for editing. Every promotion, every type of uh, commercial you see that we do, that is all. Um, all Jay, Jay Matsumoto, just the coolest dude in the world. We got a couple more hilarious commercials coming out, you guys. I can't wait for you to see that, <laughs> seriously. But I, again, I hope you like the one that came out at the beginning of this video. I'm still getting my chops with this thing, you know. Never imagined we would get to this point where I'd be doing professional commercials and stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's a testament to you guys for sticking with me for so long and and making me feel like it is worth it to do things like that. I hope you love it. right now but once we cross this which is highway 38 we will be entering Baldwin Lake this is Shea Road now S-H-A-Y and this road will eventually turn into Baldwin Lake Road the further we go down but I'm excited to see the beautiful views of Baldwin Lake cruising on this road and again I have you guys seen any snow anywhere It is a 
bummer. I hate it when it's this time of the year, but it is what it is. Again, we do have potential to see six inches of snow out of this event coming here now. So just fingers crossed, you guys, fingers crossed. Of course, we're gonna be out in the middle of it having a great time like we usually do. I'm really, really excited for it. snow in these shadier areas over here. Let me tell you what the temperature is right now. The temperature is 50 degrees. We are at 50 degrees. And again, this storm is not going to hit until tomorrow evening. So I could have posted, probably done, done, done this video tomorrow, but I, I like to do it at least a whole day in advance to give the folks who like to do last minute decisions and travels to uh, call in sick and come up here <laughs> to give you a little bit of notice you know I'm hoping we get a winter weather advisory or maybe even a winter storm warning but any of those advisories would be wonderful for us We are now on Baldwin Lake Road. The lake does have a bunch of water in it right now. This whole area, this whole neighborhood of, of Baldwin on the left-hand side here becomes lakefront property for a few months a year. And I'm assuming their rent doesn't go up at all. Wouldn't that be ridiculous if when that lake fills up <laughs> right there, that they double the prices of the rent for those few months. But there, I have heard of some plans of them planning to uh, fill that area up permanently and if that's the case that would be something else that water is nasty though it's like a it's like a chemical gray type of a color it's really nasty just disgusting but it looks beautiful from here definitely don't want to go in there I don't want to go in there. That whole area is usually dry. Majority of the year. And I've been here a few years where it's it stayed dry. Where we just didn't get 
hardly any precipitation throughout our, our wet season. To warrant any type of a lake situation. much empty space over here right right along right where that lake would be I'm surprised that uh, some people haven't picked up those those little plots of land yet see any snow on this drive at all let me know it's kind of like a where's Waldo situation now the other side of town that we usually drive on there will be snow for sure but keep in mind this part of town is only about seven and a half or eight miles away from the Big Bear Dam as the crow flies it's it's not far same elevation same valley just significantly less snow. direction to the right here as soon as they get up to the top of the hill right here they will start heading down the mountain into Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley we are headed towards Big Bear Lake baby and again you're, you're not gonna see any snow over here this is we're driving through the technical least snowy part of this whole entire valley right now. This area gets the least amount of snow out of anywhere up here. I've seen it filled all the way up to here. This whole entire area was one humongous lake. It doesn't look like it with what you can see over there, but that's still a good sized lake we got going over there. All those houses you see over there, that's where we were just driving through.
course, you can see all that big amount of snow straight straight ahead on the left on the at the ski resorts. They got a good amount of snow up there for sure. interesting how how the streets work up here if you're not paying attention and you stay on the same street you'll end up on a different street because the name changes very often it's quite annoying to be honest yeah I'm interested to do this drive for the aftermath to see the huge difference. I'm really hoping it comes to fruition.
beautiful snow summit right there. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. I'm still particular to Bear Mountain though. That's that's my favorite spot up here. I'm very, very much a huge fan of Bear Mountain. Okay, come to a complete stop. Do we have anybody coming? No, we're good to go after this guy. Nice view of the lake over here to the right. Our first view of Big Bear Lake on this whole entire drive. We pass Baldwin Lake and then this uh, this animal sanctuary on the left. But this is our beautiful lake. That's the beautiful calm before the storm. It almost feels like it's like October and we're waiting for our first snow because we don't see any snow anywhere. Don't don't worry guys though, our, our resorts are in great condition right now. So don't let this scare you away. The resorts are in wonderful shape. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I want you guys to actually enjoy yourselves when you come up here. So great shape, you'll still have a great time. Obviously the earlier you get there, better the conditions are but in the meantime take care thank you guys for everything again go to bigbearweatherandmore.com i'd appreciate it and i will talk to you guys later peace out